in those days, Coxie, not very many Bournemouth players got international call-ups. And I remember you getting your first Trinidad and Tobago call-up. And I also remember Mel Maching um, probably not being too happy about that because he was <laughs> going to be losing you for games. Is it is it fair to say that he, he wasn't overly keen on you going away? Yeah, I think at the time, it's. I don't think it was taken seriously personally. The uh, like sort of having an, an international call up, going to to play for Trinidad and Tobago. I don't believe that it had um, like sort of it was it was taken with all seriousness. I think if it was if it was getting a call up for England, you know that's a little bit different. But you know we was travelling the other side of the world uh, to play lots of World Cup qualifiers and. You know, as a player, you need to be pitting your wits against the best players, you know, whether it be here or whether it be away. So for me, you know, I, it was something I needed to do. Um, uh, but I know he wasn't particularly happy for it. And again, Mill hadn't had, um, you know, he had to look at lots of how he was going to get the best out of his squad. And he wants all his best players there, I guess, you know, to get a result on Saturday. You, uh, it's a rumour only, it's a rumour only. Can you confirm or deny that he threw the call-up papers in the bid and didn't tell you? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me.